So this is Jade. She's a one-year-old shepherd cross with Husky. Um, Jade has been with us now for quite a while. Um, she's actually our long timer. Jade is an amazing dog. She's great with um, on leash. She's not good, however, with other dogs. She is dog reactive. Um, I have had her with my dogs, um, but she does have to be muzzled around other dogs. Um, she's great off leash. She's been really good um, out on pack walks as long as she has a muzzle on. Jade um, loves water <laughs> like no other dog I've ever seen. She will swim in it, she will bury in it. She spends most of her day in her pool. Um, for her breed, she's kind of a different water dog. <laughs> um, loves people, she's actually one of the volunteer favorites in, uh, here at the shelter. Um, she's very well behaved other than not liking other dogs. Um, right now, she's not looking so, so cute. She's blowing out her winter coat, so. But deep down, there is a really good dog in there. So this is Phantom. Phantom is a year and a half old. Um, he's been with us now for almost six months. He is a very loving cat. Um, he lives right now free in a room with um, 10 other kitties. Um, they all get along fine. He's been in a house with dogs. He's actually a very affectionate kitty. He loves to hang out in his cat tower. He's still very playful. He's just an all around lovable kitty. He would do great in a home with little kids and stuff. Someone to love him and play with him. This is Arowana. Um, she is under a year old. Uh, the staff and uh, all of us at the shelter and volunteers and stuff, I'll call her Mama Cat. She did come in with babies. And of course they have since been adopted. Um, she is a great cat. She is super affectionate. She's a very clean kitty. Um, she loves to cuddle. Uh, she would do great in a home with kids and stuff. Um, she likes to give little love bites as you can see. <laughs> um, but she's very gentle about it. Um, we have actually had her on a harness and a leash so she will um, harness and leash walk. Um, when you first put it on, she's not too keen on it, but she does come around pretty quick. A little more practice, she'd be fine. Um, other than that, she's a pretty good kitty. As you can see, she still has some play in her. She's quite a, quite a happy little girl. So this is Nubia. She's approximately um, seven, eight months old. She is a great cat. Um, she gets along with other cats. She does well um, in almost any environment. She does live in um, a room, kennel free, with 10 other kitties. Um, she was actually featured at the trade show this year. She came to the trade show with us for a day. She was a hot little item, everybody loved her. Um, <laughs> she's very playful, but her markings are beautiful. Um, she's, <laughs> she's kind of a little, little hyper, but she does still have some quite a bit of kitten in her. So this is Bacon. Um, Bacon is five years old. He was transferred in from another shelter. Um, as you can see, Bacon is extremely overweight. Bacon weighs 24 pounds, so he does need a home that will monitor his diet and give him some exercise to help him lose weight at a good pace that it's not dangerous for him. Um, unfortunately, Bacon is not good with other cats, so um, he needs a cat-free home. And he might be okay in a home with um, like maybe a senior dog, um, but not a high energy dog. He's not keen on dogs, but I think if it was a senior dog or um, a little more submissive dog, he would be fine. Um, with his weight issues, um, he's not showing any health issues at the time, but obviously it's in his best interest to lose the weight as soon as possible. Um, other than that, he's a great cat. He's super affectionate, loves to cuddle, um, definitely loves his blankie and his cat bed. Uh, unfortunately, he can't get up in the cat towers. Um, He's just too heavy at this time. He is on a diet program at the moment. Um, he's on controlled feedings. And we would like to see that continue after he goes home.